your about us page doesn't look something like this or your shipping and delivery page doesn't look something like this, you need to go through your pages, edit them, improve them, and replicate the pages so that they are on par with your competitors. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a like if this video helps you out. If I have a lisp, I might have a lisp. I just got dentures to straighten out my teeth. I'm gonna have those nice ass teeth, but it comes with the cost of a lisp. So let's get into the video. I'm gonna show you which pages you need, how to build them, and I have templates for you that are going to show you an easy way of how to fill out these pages fast so you do not waste any time. So every store should have these pages, at least the about us, frequently asked questions, contact us, refund policy, shipping policy, privacy policy, and the terms of service within most of your pages on Shopify they give you this feature where you can shift a template and it gives you access to like bonus features on the Shopify store theme and it really makes the page more fitting for what it is and I'm not sure if like all free themes have this but I'm pretty sure like every paid theme does so just go in your store and we're gonna figure out if it has it so once you're in your Shopify you could click on online store go to pages and here you can create a page let's say this page is contact us, right? Now, what I'm talking about, how to make customized pages, you can click on the theme template and you see how this has a contact theme template. That's all you have to do. You save the page and then when you view it, you're gonna see this layout, how it's a contact us page. Very simple, so it's not your traditional regular page. So the first page we're gonna be building is an about us page. And here's one that I really like from dropbottle.com. The things I like about this about us page is that it's like pretty built out. It shares a lot of relevant information and she is so transparent. She shows a picture of herself. She shares the exact problem they're gonna solve and then they tie in the solution of how our product and brand is going to help solve this problem. So this is what I really like about this. So all you really gotta do with an About Us page is build a story, communicate the mission, address the problems in your niche, and then make solutions that relate back to your product and your brand. While you're building your About Us page, go to a seven or eight figure brand that's your competitor. Just pick one that has a really good About Us page and then build it out like theirs, but in your own terms, like relate your About Us to your brand. Just have your About Us page be on par with theirs and you should be good to go. And just check if you could switch your default page theme type to an About Us page theme type it'll give you the opportunity to build a better page layout. If not, just use the default setting. It's not that big of a deal. And now going on to the frequently asked questions page, what you're going to want to do is set the page theme template to FAQ and edit it in the Shopify theme editor. Gonna do this one more time and then uh, you'll know what I mean. So theme template, if it says FAQ here, you want to switch it there and then you will have a template that is set up for frequently asked questions. And I made a template for you guys. You're just gonna alter the script to fit your brand and you're gonna research competitor frequently asked questions to see what applies to you and your brand. So this is the templates I made. I made a template for a contact us, a template for frequently asked questions, refund return policy this is going to differ for each brand and a shipping policy template so these are the questions you're going to ask these are the answers to them so if you're in the shopify theme editor you could see if you click on this top bar you go down to pages you could find your fact page and then i clicked on that and you could edit all the details over here in the theme editor and you could edit the question, the answer. And once it's all done, you add in everything. It should look something like this. Really cool. And keep in mind while you're copying and pasting the questions from the fact template, do not copy and paste the templates word for word. If you do that, it probably won't even make sense depending on your situation. So go to a competitor, see what theirs looks like, gather great questions that customers are actually gonna have and make every single one relevant because every niche and every brand is different and it requires a unique tone of voice so your pages and policies will differ from mine and probably from a lot of others other people's so go and fit all of this information to your situation the next page you're going to want to build is the contact us page so set the page theme template to contact my goal with this page lower the amount of emails that I receive from customers so I don't have to deal with as many inquiries and then we're going to refer customers to a frequently asked questions page instead if you can on your theme. If not, you're going to have to deal with it or get a better theme. I'm going to go ahead, give a little demo. I made a contact us page. I switched the theme template to contact, right? 
but notice how I have nothing here. I don't have this, this text there, but I'm going to show you how my contact us page looks. It looks like this. So how did I get all of this into the page? What I did was I went to my theme editor, I went up top and I went to pages. And since I changed the theme to contact us, you go to your contact page. And now you can see on the left hand side, you click on the contact page and I text and I copied and pasted the text into here. And what I did was I hyperlinked the frequently asked questions. So all you have to do is connect it to a link. Now building your refund in return policy or page, you can either use the copy paste template that I have and alter it to fit your brand, or you can use a beast competitor like a seven figure brand An eight figure brand is guidance. Go to their refund and return policy. Theirs might be a little more than you're willing to take on. Like if they give a 90 day return back policy or refund money back policy, you might want to make yours 30. Just fit it to your needs and your brand's needs and you will be fine. But just for basic structure, I really recommend it. So what I wish I knew when I first started Ecom like five years ago, like when a situation pops up and a customer asks for a refund, you should refer to your policy. Don't just like not refund them. Do not make the mistake of being stingy. This has cost me so much more money not refunding people than actually refunding people. So don't make the mistake of being a difficult company to deal with. Word of mouth spreads very, very, very fast and don't underestimate the power of it. Don't ruin your business overnight just because of a stupid little refund. Like think of the long term. You're going to make so much more money with your business if you perform business ethically. So remember that now for the refund and return policy template it's a very basic thing so uh form it to your needs and to what your business sells or does or whatever you need it for you know another page shipping policy this one is very 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 simple copy and paste the template just like the other ones so it's very simple you could have a layout like this or a layout like one of your competitors has whatever you like better for your brand just make sure the processing times the shipping times and the shipping couriers like usps ups matches your brand and your shipping methods and how you conduct business because if you're just going to copy a policy because it's a competitor and you are not going to tie in your shipping times you're going to have theirs everything's going to be messed up so put in the hard work it's really not that hard it's actually really simple but just put in the time and you'll have a way better business now for privacy and terms of service pages, you can go into Shopify and generate templates for the privacy policy and for terms of service. And all you're gonna have to do is make basic edits and delete what doesn't apply. Super easy to generate. Go to Shopify, click on your settings, click on policies, and then you could generate a privacy policy. Just edit it. And then terms of service too. generate it, edit it. Super simple. I know a lot of people don't actually take action. So if you're watching this and you haven't took action yet, the only way you're truly going to be able to make a difference in your life and learn is if you do this as you watch. So as an action item for this lesson, create your Shopify pages, make them good, match the details to fit your brand. And then you could use my copy and paste template to save time and then alter the details to fit your brand. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next lesson.